So this is a tough one. How do you get over the fact that it was all a lie or that what you thought was reality wasn't the real reality? How do you get past it when you find out that someone lacks empathy and that the entire relationship, they've been wearing a mask and pretending to be something they're not? How do you reconcile that with yourself? Let's talk about that today. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand, recover and transform your life after being in toxic relationships and especially with narcissistic people. So hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching or peer support, check out the information in the main description of every video. Right, so this is a challenging one for a lot of people. For almost all of us, we have hit this realization. Okay, if you're going through this right now, I'm really sorry that you are feeling all of this because it is not easy. Okay, we, we understand because we've been there that this is not an easy place to be and it messes with your vision of reality. And it, there is so much grief that comes from thinking you had something that wasn't what you thought it was. And the life you thought you were building being something that is not a reality. Does that make sense? So I, want, I guess I would say number one, it was your reality. It was not a delusion to you. To you, you were building a relationship with someone you were or you were you had parents that actually were parenting right whatever it is you had your own version of the reality because you were working hard on whatever relationship you were just in or are still in and you're trying to face the fact that this person isn't on the same page in fact they're in like another book in another language so getting through this part can take a lot of self-care and a lot of being gentle with yourself and patience with yourself as you start to uncover and unfold everything that happened and take a look at it. The thing is, we have to face the reality and we have to be in allowance of that other person being exactly who they are. We need to look at it from a pretty logical viewpoint of exactly how that other person is so that we can function from our own reality. And we need to see that those are two separate things. Of course, everybody's reality is their own. It's subjective, right? But you guys, but when you've been with someone who's narcissistic, when your parent was a narcissist, whatever it was, whoever this person was in your life, the reality is so vastly different. It's almost like you're from different planets, okay? So we need to allow that person to be the narcissist that they are. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but the thing is, if we try to use hope if we try to think, but if only I did this, if only I had done that different, if we try to make it about ourselves, it's very difficult to reconcile how different the realities are. All right. As you're working through this and as you are coming to terms with allowing that person to be exactly who they are, remember to check in with yourself and see exactly who you are. Look at the things that you did to support this relationship or friendship or with your parent or whatever it is. Look at your input. Look at all of the things you've tried to change and fix in yourself. Look at how you are now trying to understand yourself and grow and become a healthier version of yourself and recognize that's where the focus needs to go. Okay, the more you start reconciling the relationship with yourself after being with toxic people or being raised by toxic people. And the more you start filling yourself with who you actually are and your authentic self, the wider the gap gets between yourself and how narcissistic people behave. And you start to see that there was never anything that could have fixed it, okay? Because they are who they are and how they are. As sad as that is, that's when we can allow the grief, okay? Grief is part of this process. Stop running away from it and thinking you can bypass it or skip over it. Not one of us ever has, okay? We can maybe do it in our minds for a while, but the grief lives in the cells of the body. So one thing you can try is asking your body, yeah, this is hard. I can't let go of this. Where is it living in me? Where do I feel it in my body? And send that part of your body lots of love. Imagine that delusion that the narcissist placed in your, in your mind that's living in your sense of hope, wherever that exists in your body. Imagine that leaving that sense of hope for this relationship. Imagine it just floating away and then fill that place that, that it left a big empty hole with love for yourself through your breath, through relaxation, through awareness, through your senses, 
and and coming having scents you love or things to look at or go out in nature or pet your animals or whatever it is through something that gives you nurturing and love okay and keep reminding your body that you're helping it along the way because remember that the trauma lives in the cells of the body it lives in the neurological responses of the body from the emotions that come from the thoughts so as we try and get this healed remember to fill yourself with self with loving thoughts of self okay not so much affirmations but sensation of just calmness just a breath you, all you have to do is exhale <sighs> like that and that feeling send it wherever you just extracted that sense of hope that is attached to a toxic person and as you do this you're working to change the way your mind and your body relate to this trauma and as you're doing that the logic starts to become more clear remember that you're totally in a brain fog most of the time when you have been around toxic people for a long time and especially when you are discarded or you've left a situation and that person is no longer with you and you're trying to reconcile the whole thing and so just give yourself the time and space if you need it get the help you need Find someone that you can talk to, get coaching, get therapy, whatever it is that works for you, and work yourself through this part. It's important to let go of this part, you guys. Okay, if you have anything you want to add to this, if you have any comments or, or suggestions for how to help people with this, let me know in the comments, okay? And I will see you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye-bye.